And hey, well, this is Francisco from Wondershare Dr. Phone. And if you've ever messed up and went entering your password enough on your iPad, enough times to lock yourself out, and then you will find the best solutions to fix that exact same problem right here. But before anything, just make sure to subscribe to our channel and to turn on the notification bell. Now, let's go ahead and dive right in. The first method of unlocking our iPad is going to be through our own Dr. Phone software. We highly recommend this method because it can resolve all major issues on your iOS device very easily and very quickly. From the screen of death to the device stuck on recovery mode and that sort of thing, which is a lot more common than you might think nowadays. So here is how that's going to be done. Make sure that you already have Dr. Phone installed. You can find links to it in the description. And then once you've downloaded it, just go ahead and launch it. And once you've done, just go ahead and connect your iPad onto your computer and then click on unlock iOS device or unlock screen over here from the main menu in order to begin. I just go ahead and select the exact same model for your iPad. In this case, I'm going to be using the 2018 iPad Pro, for example, and it's going to be running on iOS 13.6.1. And once you're done, go ahead and click on start. But if it's not detected, then go ahead and put your iPad into DFU mode in order to continue. And it's going to give you the instructions right on screen in case of anything. Once you've gone through that, it's just going to give you a download here that you do have to wait for to finish because this is going to be the package that's going to unlock your iPad for you. And once it's done downloading, just go ahead and click on unlock now. And then it's going to ask you to confirm your choice. And to do this, just go ahead and enter the displayed code and then make sure to confirm that as well. Now the toolkit is going to try and repair your device and make sure to unlock it for you. And when it's done, it's going to display a prompt for you and then you're pretty much good to go from there. Method number two revolves around unlocking your iPad without a passcode using Find My iPad. Everybody knows about both the Find My iPhone or iPad feature and that allows you to locate your device anywhere just in case you lost it or just misplaced it somewhere. It is linked to iCloud and can also be used in order to perform plenty of other tasks, not just in order to locate your device. Uh, they do remember your iCloud credentials, though, because this will be very important a little bit later. So here's how that's done. And first things first, I just go on your computer and then go on iCloud's official website and make sure to enter the same credentials that you have for your iPad so that you're using the exact same iCloud account. And then go ahead and click on Find iPhone on the main screen. And now it's going to show you a pretty different interface. And just go ahead and click on All Devices and select your iPad. And this will display your iPad and all the other options associated with it to unlock it from here. And you would have to click on erase iPad. So just go ahead and confirm that choice. And then just wait a little while as your iPad fully resets. And now a consequence of going with this method is obviously the loss of all of your data since your iPad will be restored to its factory settings without any lock screens or anything like that. I just make sure that you back up your data rather frequently just so that you can download the backup from iCloud after logging back in into your iCloud account just in case. And now then, our last method is going to be to unlock our iPad through iTunes itself. And so firstly, the uh, first thing that you're going to do is just go ahead and launch iTunes on your computer and then go ahead and connect your iPad. And when iTunes attacks your iPad, just select it from the devices section and then go to summary and then click on restore iPad. And then confirm that this is what you want to do and then just wait for it to finish. And, and similarly to the iCloud method, you should have a freshly reset iPad without a password and you can just, uh, just download any previous backups and that didn't have that password issue in the past if you did and back up any of it in the past. And there you have it. These have been three methods of unlocking your iPad after locking it out through a couple of password failures. So which is your favorite of the three? I just make sure to let us know in the comments and also make sure to share this video with anybody who needs to know this information. But don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe. And I'm going to see you all later. Have a good one.